Welcome to Aprende Inglés Ahora podcast, where we learn English one step at a time. My name is Mr. Peña. I will be your host. Today we're going over numbers and counting. Numbers and counting. Before we begin, I want to offer you something for free. I want to invite you to my Patreon membership. If you click on the link below, you can join my WhatsApp group and you can interactively practice your English with me through voice calls and the community. There's a fabulous community of English learners in that WhatsApp group. When you join the Patreon, you also get exclusive content and downloadable resources at no extra cost to you. So if you want to want extra help in practicing and learning your English, um, I invite you to join the Patreon using the link down below. I hope to see you in the community. Now, before we begin, um, the vocabulary words, we're going to actually just deal with our numbers. So let's count from zero to 25. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, and ten. Next, we went from one through ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to go to eleven. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm going to make this a little easier for us to see by creating a grid. Please follow along as we continue our numbers. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Any other questions? Let's keep going. 31, 32. 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. So we have the numbers 1 through 50 in English. Let's practice using our English accents. And now we go to 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 
72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. Now we move on to, we're going to go from numbers 91 through 100. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. These are the numbers from 1 through 100. This is how we count. Given that, let's take all these numbers now and focus on our vocabulary words for today. We have master numbers, spiritual, significance, cultures, counting, basics, quantities, navigate, everyday situations, essential, restaurant bill, calculating, discounts, foundation, superpower. Now, I'm going to say it again, and when I say it, you repeat it. Master numbers. Spiritual. Significance. Cultures. Counting. Basics. Quantities. Navigate. Everyday situations, essential, restaurant bill, calculating, discounts, foundation, superpower. With those words in mind, let's use them in complete sentences. Number one, for the word master numbers, the sentence says, in various spiritual traditions, master numbers, such as 11, 22, and 33, are believed to carry profound meanings. So here's a simple way to say that. People believe that master numbers are special. People believe that master numbers are special. So when I look up master numbers, do I get a picture? That's a good question. Uh, why not? Master numbers. If you believe in these things. Why? Because they're connected in a deeper way to the universe. Now we go on to number two, which is about 
exploring the significance of, of numbers. Oh, no. Number two is spirit. The vocabulary word for two is spiritual. So we're going to add the word spiritual to this sentence. It says, exploring the significance of numbers is an intriguing spiritual journey that varies across different cultures. So what do we have? Our vocabulary word for spiritual. This is type. So let's highlight properly. So here's what we can say. Here's a question. Are numbers spiritual? That's a question. Are numbers spiritual? That's the simple way you can say it. Spiritual numbers. Or we call it numerology. Numerology. The study behind the spirituality of numbers. Los números son espiritual. Next one. Number three, the vocabulary word was significance. So here's the sentence. Counting is not just a skill. It forms the very foundation of mathematical knowledge it is significant so let's simplify this sentence counting is significant counting is significant counting is extremely important it is the basic the basis for all measuring We need to count. Children learn to count from preschool, as you can see in the cute picture. We learn how to count from the very beginning. Counting is extremely important, or we can say significant. Number four. Let's embark on a journey to understand the basics of counting, building a strong numerical foundation. It is integral to human culture for us to count. So, now I'm going to give you the easy sentence. Are we ready? Most cultures require counting. Most cultures require counting. It requires counting to create meaning. So we need culture. We need counting to have culture. What is culture? Food, folk art, jokes, clothes and dressing, work, language, medical care, religion. That's culture. All of that requires math and counting. Counting is crucial to culture. Number five. 
It says, navigating quantities becomes a breeze when you grasp the fundamentals of counting. So here, they actually use the word this time, counting. So, counting is essential to mathematics. We talked about significance of counting, and, and we're basically saying the same thing. Counting is essential to mathematics. So our, our word here is counting. There you go. We have six, which says everyday situations cooking to shopping often require a basic understanding of mathematical concepts. Okay. The vocabulary word here is basic. So, let's put it this way. Everyday skills require basic math. Everyday skills require basic math. What do we mean by everyday skills? Um, well, life skills, right? There's a book on this. But skills overall for everyday life. Life skills. Cooking, driving, learning. Everyday life skills. Number seven, calculating a restaurant bill is a practical application that showcases the importance of counting skills. So, our word is quantities. Number seven is quantities. So I need to include quantities in this sentence. Okay. Calculating involves knowing the quantities of value. Big sentence. Here's our sen simple sentence. Quantity means the amount of something. Quantity means the amount of something. So, you know how they say quality over quantity? I like this picture. Amount of, such as large amount of sleep, quantity of money, are single things you can measure. It's a good chart. We now go on to number eight, which says, 
essential math skills are invaluable when dealing with the challenges of everyday tasks. Number eight must have the word navigate. Okay. So we're going to change dealing to navigating the challenges of everyday tasks. So here's a simple sentence. We need math. to navigate life. We need math to navigate life. What's navigation? What does it mean to navigate? To go in a specific direction. That's navigate. We now have number nine, which says discounts and percentages are common elements in basic math scenarios, especially when stopping. So I'm going to put everyday situations. Discounts and percentages are common elements in everyday situations, especially when shopping. So here's a simple way to say that. Every day we deal with percentages every day we deal with percentages we use it to navigate life remember our percentages it is over of equals percent over 100. That's the percentage formula. Now we go to number 10. Remember that our word was, for number 10, essential. Here we go. Mastering ba basic math is essential for unlocking a superpower for navigating the... No. Mastering basic math is essential for unlocking self-confidence. Basic math is essential for unlocking self-confidence. So put, we need self-confidence. The word is essential. We need basic math. We need self-confidence. Here's the next problem, or the next the vocabulary word, 11, restaurant bill. Numbers play a crucial role in expressing quantities, making them essential in various everyday restaurants and situations, such as restaurant bills. Restaurant bills. 
so we need math to pay the bill. We need math to pay the bill. When we go to a restaurant, we have something called a bill. Pay the bill. And we use math to calculate the total price. Now, the next word was calculating. So it says here, the restaurant bill is a prime example where basic math skills come in handy for accurate calculations. Okay, but I don't see the word calculating. So, when, cal when calculating numbers, we need to know essential math skills. So here's a beautiful way to know. Here's a here's a question. Do you know how to calculate numbers? Do you know how to calculate numbers? Calculate or calculating is another way to put it. Here's actually the calculator I have. It's one of the most famous models. This, what you see here, is called calculator. Calculator. Now, if you have any questions, remember to put it down in the chat below. We go to 13, which says, exploring the foundations of counting allows you to confidently tackle mathematical challenges pretty big sentence and I don't see the word discounts so we're going to add it such as learning about discounts remember the word discounts so here's a tip for you use math to find the best discounts. Use math to find the best discounts. In Spanish, they call it descuento. A discount is like a percentage taken off. They lower the price. It's a cheaper value. It's a cheaper number for what you pay. We now have 14, which says discounts can save you money and understanding basic math is key to making informed purchasing decisions. I'm going to repeat I'm going to read it again. Discounts can save you money. And understanding basic math is key to making informed purchasing decisions. I'm going to say foundational to add the word. So 
we need the foundation. We need the foundational math to master life. So the word is foundation. That what they mean is foundations of life, which one of them is financial. So to have life balance, you need physical, spiritual, social, financial, community, family, mental, professional. All that is true. All that is true. Now we go to our last word, which is superpower. It says supercharge your everyday life by mastering basic math skills, making numbers your trusted allies in various situations. So, Let's use a simple sentence. Math gives you superpowers. Math gives you superpowers. At least in this world. So, supercharge your everyday life. Thank you for joining me. This is Aprende Inglés Ahora podcast with Mr. Peña. If you like what I'm doing here and you want more help and practice, join my Patreon. When you join my Patreon, you'll get access to exclusive content downloadable resources and an invitation to my private WhatsApp group. In my private WhatsApp group, we practice every day use, um, with our English voice call. We have little mini voice calls where we practice the... All right, let's try it again. Thank you for joining me. This has been Aprende Inglés Ahora podcast with Mr. Peña. I hope that you got a sense of numbers and uh, the, the, the importance of mathematics through this podcast. If you like what I'm doing here and you want to practice your English, join my WhatsApp group through Patreon. If you join the Patreon membership, you will get access to the WhatsApp group. You'll also get access to... um. Um, a, a 10 day English grammar guide so when you join the Patreon using the link down below you can get exclusive content downloadable resources and an invitation to my WhatsApp I hope to see you within the community and good luck with your English goodbye